A hundred thieves bought OTV? Question mark. Nah, they can only buy everybody around us. I mean, she's not wrong. It seems like how it goes is OTV. It's a bunch of nobodies boost them up to a couple thousand viewers on Twitch, and then Hundred Thieves comes in and gives them a contract, like they did with Tina and Leslie. But like the sad thing is, they spend all this money, and then people still call Tina and Leslie OTV and friends. I guess like money well spent. Uh, it's six thirty-two p.m. on eleven twenty-three twenty-twenty, and you just. So this is a video recorded a year ago of her predictions of what's going to happen. It's turning 28. Oh, so I'm 28, but you're 29. Yeah. So yeah. by the time you're seeing this, yeah, so much is going to happen that I don't know about. Yeah. But one thing I do know is that you are probably, no, you are married. That's crazy. You're married. Congrats. So if you don't know her and her fiance, broke up so she's definitely not married and i just love how she's always able to get all these awkward clips but i don't think any is going to be able to top uh, this one over 24. i think i'm the highest level in the entire game yeah what's that under your bed uh probably a uh a uh, guitar definitely a guitar not a back massager i guess you can call it and I think Ludwig said something, or I don't know if this was quoted by someone or paraphrased, but it said, I didn't particularly feel loved by Twitch. So what he's talking about is Ludwig came out and said he felt like the YouTube people, when he was dealing with all his contracts, felt like they cared more about him than the Twitch side of things, which is why he went to YouTube. <laughs> and it's like... There's no shot. There's no shots coming out of all those guys' mouths, right? Those motherfuckers are the goddamn poster children of Twitch. They're on their front page every other fucking week. Every fucking show that Twitch sponsors or hosts, they're on it. They get paid like six different bags by Twitch. I mean, he's not wrong. They're definitely the Disney, more brand-friendly side of Twitch. I'm sitting here for 15 fucking years. Motherfuckers, I'm their goddamn fucking incest of a son that's chained in the basement, regardless of all that I do. I'm it's not regardless of all you do. It's because of what you do that you're chained in the basement. You can be a D-Gen streamer, and you get a good audience from that, but then you have to realize... Twitch and brands aren't going to want to be closely associated with you because you're a risk to them. You're entertaining, but you're a risk. And also, you guys, today's stream is sponsored by, let's say it together, NordVPN! NordVPN! Ow. <laughs> NordVPN is great if you're traveling like us, and we're dying, and you want to keep your data secure. Well, let me... So I feel like I'm usually pretty good at telling when streamers are doing a bit or not and I really can't tell with her if like her constantly doing stuff like this is a bit or if this just comes all naturally to her. I haven't seen anyone this unhinged since that one German guy who didn't get into art school. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I always love seeing like what streamers blind spots are. I'll be honest though, I don't think I ever expected streamers not to know who Hitler was. Wait, is this an inter- is this like an internet meme I don't understand? Me, internet meme, history meme. I said what chat I- Oh! I mean, I guess you could technically play that off saying like, oh, I didn't realize you were talking about Hitler because Hitler is Austrian and you said German. I mean, sure, we can go with that. Not every creator will feel the same as me, and that's fine. But I'm being genuine every time I say it. I, Oh, that is so disgusting. Kind of that gross. is some grade A manipulative shit. I mean, he says... You are like a whole bunch of kittens and I love you. That's just like treating your audience like a bunch of kids. 
I mean, I guess his audience is a bunch of kids, but then he goes on to say, like, not every creator will feel the same as me, and that's fine, but I'm being genuine every time I say it. And that is, like, 100% just, like, abusive boyfriend language. Like, oh, no one will be able to love you like I love you, or no one will love you, you're, like, unlovable, but I'll love you, or, like... I mean, I, I don't know why this is being brought up now. Like, this tweet is from, like, a year ago, and it seems like Dream has tried to pwn down on the parasocial aspect of his community. But I really don't know why this is now being brought up. F A D Oh no! <laughs> She's just having a rough time. First, she had the audacity to be on a phone during a BTS concert, so she had BTS fans coming after her. And now, music itself is trying to cancel her. Thing, Miz watched it live, Miz farmed some pity, and then there was a giant hate thread on live stream fail, and then her stream got raided by people, calling her ugly or a piece of shit, and then she ended stream because she was sad. In obligatory like hate raids and hate threads and stuff, never good. Don't insult and creators personally. Which is crazy because I don't know. Ms. Kids blow my mind. Ms. Kid will farm any drama. I could literally be running away from the police and he'd be watching it live, laughing at me. I mean, that would be great content though. So can you really blame him? Like he did with Valkyrie, like he did with Hassan House, like he'll do for every event. I will say the Hassan House thing was kind of messed up. I'm surprised no one got banned over that, especially the person who originally tweeted it out. Doxing Hassan is kind of messed up. But the moment someone brings up Miz, the Miz kids are like, too far, dude. Too far. Wait, we're farming drama now? I thought we were being respectful. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, this is kind of different, though. Like, farming drama is one thing, but farming relationship drama always feels a little grosser because there's, like, a lot more emotions involved, and it's a lot easier for you people they get hurt but i mean i kind of feel bad for ludwig in this spot like this reminds me of when you're at a bar and you see like a girlfriend and a boyfriend out together and the girlfriend goes up to the most roided out dude at the bar and just starts shit for no reason and all she's doing is signing up her boyfriend to get a beat down because he obviously has to come in and defend her and he's obviously going to lose so beauty was in the wrong in this situation and Ludwig, unfortunately, has to step in and defend his girlfriend. And he's going to get beat down by the internet. So it's like a lose-lose for him. I, uh, I have a, a three for... I mean, I guess for a bathtub stream, at least she's fully clothed. Fair. Okay. Hopefully I don't drop it. Oh, So as someone who lives alone, that is like my worst fear, just falling in the bathtub and accidentally killing yourself. Like, not only do you die, which obviously sucks, but then you have to wait for someone to find you and they're just going to find you in the most compromising position possible. And it's just like, it sucks you're dead, but it's also just embarrassing on top of that. It's like someone going through your browser history after you die. 